so here we are in the Rocky Mountains close to Boulder, Colorado. You can see the, the flat irons in the background. And I love this bioregion because it brings in influences from the east, from the prairies, from the south, from the desert. You have the alpine influence and there's just so many influences that overlap here. And we're in the foothills right now, which is a transition zone. And this plant that I'm in the middle of here, I always think this is such an odd plant to find here in the Rocky Mountains. This, oh my goodness, is licorice. <laughs> licorice that we read about in Chinese medicine that we think of as being somewhere far away or certainly in much warmer climates. But this is licorice with these beautiful rust-colored seed things and which stick, <laughs> which of course has to do with how they propagate themselves, <laughs> probably by the deer and the four-legged animals that come through because they're a little bit higher, more at shoulder height. Uh, this licorice is a plant that has been in, used in herbalism all around the world. Uh, most notably in Chinese formulas, where it's used not only for its own actions and its own constituents, constituents, but to balance a formula. Licorice is known for bringing an overall formula into balance, a buffering, um, neutralizing herb. And licorice as an herb has properties that are fairly well known. Um, it's an adrenal tonic, so it's nourishing to the adrenal glands. Um, it has certain anti-inflammatory properties. And see these, these leaves like this, tell us something about it. So these are compound leaves. And the way that these are is typical of the legume family, the bean family plant. And so this is a shrubby, woody, slightly woody, stemmed bean family plant. 